concertina for beginners and uh, this is going to be number 13 okay this is going to be number 13 um, and we're going to be having a look at whether we should bother to learn to read music okay um, and the answer to that is yes 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 okay we should have a little go at learning to read music and let me explain I can't read music fluently onto the concertina. I can't sight read. You can't put a piece of music in front of me and say, play that. I can't do it. I need about 20 minutes, half an hour or so to work my way through it. But I can read the music and I know where the notes are on here, so I have to work at it for 20 minutes, half an hour, more if it's a, a difficult piece. Um, and then I can get somewhere close. Now, why should we bother? Well, because so far, all we've done is play tunes that either we know or that we can hear. You know, so if you're in the, if you hear a, a melody that you like, I've been giving you some helpful hints as to how to find that melody, put it against a scale, and start to work your way through it, okay? But you are restricted, aren't you, to those tunes that you know, and those tunes that you hear somebody else playing on the radio or down the pub or whatever. Now if you can learn to read the basics of music, you can get yourself a, a book full of tunes and it doesn't matter how quickly you read, if you can read, you can very slowly put those tunes onto your box and you can discover melodies and pieces of music that you didn't know existed before. Okay, So the answer is yes, you should learn. It's easy. Because we have a melody instrument, and because of the way it's laid out, we only need really to learn to read one line of notes. It's not like a piano or anything like that. Um, it's just a melody instrument. We only going, I'm only going to help you get started with learning one line of notes. You don't have to play that line quickly. You play it slowly, get the notes correct. And then when you've got an idea of what the tune is, then you can start to play it at the correct tempo. So I do maintain it is quite easy to make a start. But please understand, I think it's incredibly useful to be able to do it, even if you never get to the point where you can uh, sight read onto your instrument. In other words, somebody slaps a piece of music in front of you and says, play that. You know, good musicians can do that. Um, I, I certainly am never going to be able to do it. I don't practice enough. But um, I can understand the basics of music. And so if somebody gives me a melody or if I get a book of folk tunes, I can work out that melody and I can make a choice. Do I like it? Yeah, OK, I'll learn that. No, I'm not keen on that one. Let's turn the page and go to the next one. OK, now... YouTube has some limitations, <clears throat> and I've been experimenting a little on how to present the beginnings of reading music. And um, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to uh, stop this video and click on the second part of this tutorial, if you like, which I shall label 13 part 2, I think, something like that. And you'll see there that I've managed to uh, use a piece of music software. It's called Finale Notepad and it's free. I downloaded it just last week and I've been learning how to use it. And um, I've put a few details, is it that side or that side? Where the notes are anyway, to, to accompany this video. And I strongly recommend that you get hold of Finale Notepad because you'll be able to have a little play around, see how notes go on the stave, and then you can hit play and see what it sounds like. If you've got a book of tunes, you can type in the tunes into Finale Notepad and then you can hit play and the computer will play that melody through for you. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, at least for this session and another couple of sessions, I'm going to use um, a slightly different format, ask you to uh, go and have a look at uh, what I've done with Finale Notepad. I'm using some software on the computer to, to film directly just the notepad part of the notepad window. Um, I think the problem we have is that the quality of the video on YouTube drops when I upload it. So although it looks good on my machine, 
when I watch it back on YouTube, it's, it's really rather blurred and quite poor. So I'm trying to overcome that as best we can. Okay, so yes, we should learn to read music. It's quite easy to get started. I'm not suggesting that you will be a fluent reader and a sight reader onto your instrument, but the basics can help you a great deal. Okay, so that's all here. What I'd like to do now is fade this out, please, and if you'd open up um, the second part of this lesson, which I think I've called 13 part B, part 2. I'll, I'll decide in a minute. Okay, catch you then. Bye.